Hey guys, it's Jan, so welcome back. So I am doing a soft pink lip combo today, which I haven't really done in a while. And I figured I'll show you the colors I'm using. Let me just tell you what I did on my face real quick. I used the Steel and Naturalize palette, and I used the colors Bare on my brow bone, um, Bliss in the, in the crease. No, let me show you what I used. I can't remember what I used. Okay. Bare on my brow bone, which is right there. Bliss on my lid and sandstone in the crease and I can't really hold this over to show you because it's all crumbled I'm really sad to say I love that palette um, Sephora's uh, liquid eyeliner and power volume collagen mascara by L'Oreal on my face I just finished using my skin 79 BB cream um, I love this I don't think I'll be buying it right away uh, only because I have so much other stuff. I have my Chobo Yang. I would buy the Chobo Yang before I buy this, but um, I mixed the Chobo Yang with what was left over from that, so that's done. I used um, Coralina for my cheeks today because I was on a mission at one point to buy all the Milani blushes because I think they're really fabulous. I don't, I don't know what's left, but um, if there's another one, I will buy it. And my... Concealer today was NARS, which I don't have here with me. And I used my Bare Minerals Well-Rested Powder. I always say benefits, but it's, it says Bare Minerals. So sorry about that. And um, yeah, so let me just show you what I'm doing for my lips. I am using this highlight pencil by Vincent Longo. Uh, it's not a highlight pencil. It's a highlight on one side for the lips, and it's the color on the other side. So this is the color. It's Sangria, which I've used before. And the other side, it's a duo ended pencil, is the highlight portion, which I'm going to use for my cupid's bow and around the perimeter of my lips. The lip liner I'm using today is Max Soar, which is a very pretty um, mauvey rose kind of color for the lips. So I like that. The lip color is a Revlon Matte um, lipstick. It's 002 in Pink Pout, and I love it. right there. You would not think to put these two together, but I would. So I'm going to do that. And I don't feel lots of times that I need a lip gloss with these matte creams. Matte lip creams. I'm calling it a lip cream. It's not nowhere does it say that on here, but it's a very creamy matte lipstick. And it's got a little bit of a slip like I like to say. But I want to pair it with this Victoria's Secrets lip gloss. It's a light pink lip gloss in Innocent. And I really was impressed when I went to um, Victoria's Secret to the semi-annual sale with their lipsticks and makeup in general. I really happen to like their makeup, so um, that's the color. So I'm going to combine all these and see what I come up with. So I'm going to use my mirror and hopefully you can see. So I'm going to, I already have my lip balm on, that's the Josie Marin, and I'm going to outline with the uh, highlight. Looks crazy at first and then you just blend it in. Okay, so, you know, I like to really blend my lip products. I'm looking in a big mirror as well. Now I'm going in with the lip liner, and this is Soar by MAC. What I like to do, I mean, I have pretty full lips, but what I like to do anyway is to accentuate that part right there. That is this very sexy part, I think, of anyone's lips. And if you have thinner lips, then I would accentuate that a little bit more or make maybe make it a little bit darker um, just to add some dimension to that area of thinness that you might have. So it's just a good trick. I don't necessarily need to do that, but my lips are pretty full sized anyway, so it really doesn't make a difference anyway. And I like to blend just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Push that product in. 
which further softens any edges. And then straight from the tube, I'm using a little hand on there. I always drop something in a video. I don't know what it is with me. Anyway, so I'm using uh, straight from the tube the color. Blend. I think that's a pretty combination. I really like it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to overline just slightly just to make sure I have everything the way I like it. And the reason why I chose these colors today, too, is because I wanted colors that were accessible to everyone. Everyone should be able to pick up a Revlon lip color. And these I picked up probably, I have three of these matte creams, and I probably picked up at least one of them grocery shopping. So, you know, you have the aisle, you have your cosmetics in the grocery stores. So um, I pick up lots of makeup from the grocery store. Why not? It's there. And then also, um, Soar by MAC is pretty accessible to people. It's, I don't know what it is. It's like $15 for a lipstick now. This might be around the same price. I really don't know off the top of my head, but it's relatively inexpensive. I've had it for a while. I don't use it every day, um, but it lasts a, a good amount of time, I think. And um, Victoria's Secrets. You know, either you wait for your sale to buy your makeup, which I loaded up on the makeup this time with the semi-annual sale, or you go in. I think this was 12 bucks. I don't think it was any more than that. So um, I didn't want to showcase, you know, a Givenchy lip liner or a Chanel lip liner. Just, you know, you may not be into spending $20 on a lip liner, and I totally get that, so that's, that's really cool. All right, so that is the look, and now I'm going to add the Victoria's Secrets. Um color, which is right there. It's very pretty, very reminiscent of NARS Turkish Delight, maybe slightly more pink. And now this lip gloss, um, there's two ways of doing lip gloss in my book. Either I can put it in the center of my lip and add a little bit of a palette, or I can scrape off most of the excess, because I don't like a real goopy kind of lip anyway. I mean, who does? And just go around the perimeter just to further enhance that little shimmer that I gave to my lip with this lip pencil, which is what I'm going to do today. And, um, there's enough at the very outer edge of the tube that I don't necessarily need to dip the wand back in. I'll show you what I mean. I just go around the very edges of my top lip and bottom lip. Just to pick up that glimmer a little bit more. And along the bottom. And turning the wand over, there should be enough product left on that side. to do the same thing. Touching the very top of the tube where the excess is, and I'm going to go just follow along the top here. And that way you don't have an overly goopy lip, especially in the summertime. I don't think that's very pretty. Uh, but I'm not adverse to putting it in the middle of the lip. I like to do that too. It's just that I don't put that much on. But sometimes I like to just do the edges where you can just see the glimmer all around the edge, which is the way I like to do lip gloss too sometimes. So that is my lip combo of the day. I hope you like it. Very soft pink lip, has gloss, has lip balm, has highlighter, has a lipstick, has a lip liner, but I don't think it looks overly done. I think it's very pretty, very soft, very wearable for day. So I hope you guys like these um, combos. And again, just real quickly, it's sore. It's a highlight, but if you don't have this pencil, you can use any highlight that you may have. You can even use an eyeshadow. If you have a white, uh, frosty eyeshadow, you can do the same thing with this. And um, Victoria's Secret's lip gloss in Innocent, if I didn't say, I hope I did. And Revlon's Pink Palette in 002, very pretty matte um, lipstick. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.